I would never do that, and I don't use racist and remarks. And you know what? If I did, you people have — you would have known about it. I've been hearing there are tapes for years and years. There are tapes. Number one, I never worried about it because I never did. I never used racist remarks. I have never used racist remarks. Okay. Well, one point of fact. Go ahead. You have, no, no. One, one point of Go fact ahead. because you told her you have quiet, the highest quiet, approval among quiet, African Americans. Quiet. It's just eight percent, sir. Single digits. See, when you talk about division, it's people like this that cause division. Great division. Great. No, no, point of fact is that I never used a racist remark. That's the point of fact. Where, who are you from? Um, I'm from Yahoo. Yahoo, Yahoo, you? No, good. Good, I hope, I hope they're doing well. MTV Lebanon, Ellen Dorgan. So first question. Where are you from? MTV Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh, Lebanon, good. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. We're so happy to be here as well, have this opportunity. Uh, Mr. Uh, President Erdogan said he's not going to follow your sanctions and he's going to keep uh, buying uh, oil from... Uh, Who said that? Uh, President Erdo Erdogan. Turkey. I know, I know. And you're going to meet him uh, soon. Just can't understand his Okay. Speak. You're going to meet him soon. Uh, you're going to have this talk. And some countries are going to take the same steps that President Erdogan is doing. So and let me just tell you about the oil, okay? So we're we imposed, just recently, the strongest sanctions in the history of our country, just about. Well, I guess North Korea is there, too. But I gave some countries a break on the oil. I did it a little bit because they really asked for some help. But I really did it because I don't want to drive oil prices up to $100 a barrel or $150 a barrel, because I'm driving them down. If you look at oil prices, they've come down very substantially over the last couple of months. That's because of me because you have a monopoly called OPEC. And I don't like, wait, and I don't like that monopoly. I don't like it. And oil prices are coming down. So rather than deciding to be as tough as I am on most of the sanctions, what I've done is I said, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to let some of the oil go out to these countries that really do need it, because I don't want to drive the oil prices up to $100 or $150, which could happen very easily. It's a very fragile market, very, very fragile. I know it very well. And it's the absolute right decision. And they'll get tougher as time goes by, maybe. But I don't want to have any effect on the oil prices worldwide where I drive them up, because I consider that to be a tax, and I don't like taxes.